Hello everyone, so in this question we're going to do something quite interesting. Here we have three charges, one, two, three. I should actually draw the charges, I don't know why I'm not doing that. So there's a charge there, then there's a charge here at B, and then there's a charge here at C. So this is A, this is B, and this is C. And what we want to do is work out the net force on charge B. So for example, let's say I had a box called B and there was a force push pulling it to the right of 10 newtons and there was a force going that way of 3 newtons. Well, what would the net force be? Well, that's 7 newtons to the right. And so we're going to do the same approach in this question. So let's have a look at the effect of A on B. So I'm going to say F a B equals to K which is 9 times 10 to the 9 times by its charge now its charge is 1 for a and remember when there's a n then you have to use 10 to the minus 9 then if I look at B its charge is minus 2 but I don't put the minus in the calculation the distance between a and B is 2 and then always remember the square and so the force of A on B is the following. We get 4.5 newtons. Now we are looking at B. We want to know what's happening to B. So A has a charge that is positive. B has a charge that is negative. So they'll definitely attract each other. So what does that mean for B? Is B going to move left or right? Well, well done if you realize that B will move left. But Kevin, what about A? A will move to the right. That's correct. But remember, this whole question is about charge B. Okay, so we've done FAB. Now we need to look at the effect of C on B. So I'll say FCB, and that's going to equal to 9 times 10 to the 9, multiplied by B's charge, which is 2, multiplied by C's charge, which is 3, but it's got an N over there, so it'll be 3 times 10 to the minus 9. The distance between them is 1 meter, and then square. And so if you do that, you would end up with 54. And what will C do to B? So C is negative, and B is negative, so they're actually going to push each other away. So that's going to push B to the left, and B will push C to the right. But we don't care about C because this whole question is on B. So that's going to cause B to move to the left. And so both A and C are going to cause B to move left. And so to find the net force, we can just add those two together. If they were in opposite directions, well, then we would have to do something different. And so that's going to give us 59.5 newtons 58 Kevin, 58.5 newtons to the left. And Kevin, what about the force of A on C? Guys, we're not interested in that because this whole question is about charge B. So here's another question. I've changed the order and I've changed the numbers and I've and now I want us to work out the final charge on A. So now it's on this one. So what we need to work out is how does B affect A. So let's do that first. So we can say FAB equals to K, which is 9 times 10 to the 9, multiplied by A's charge, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 9, multiplied by B's charge, which is 3. And the distance between them is 2 meters. So that'll be 2 squared. And so we can work that out. And that gives us 6.75 newtons. Now A is negative and B is positive, so opposites attract. So what will A do? Well, obviously A is going to move towards B, B is going to move towards A, but we're not worried about B because this question is all about A. So it means A will move right. Now we need to see how does, how does C affect A? So we're going to go F, B, no, F, A, C. And so that's going to be K, which is 9 times 10 to the 9, multiplied by A's charge, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 9, multiplied by C's charge, which is 2 times 10 to the minus 9. And the distance between them is 1 plus 2, which is 3 squared. And that gives us a very small value, 2 times 10 to the minus 9 newtons. Now, what would C do to A? Well, they both negative and so if they have the same charge they will repel so they'll push away from each other so C would move to the right and then A would move to the left so this is going to be 
left. Ah, so now we have B pushing A to the right and C pushing A to the left. So what's the overall effect? Well, if I have a box being pulled three newtons to the right and two newtons to the left, the overall is one newton to the right, because you minus them. So we need to choose a direction as positive. So let's say right is positive, then F net will be equal to the right, which is 6.75 plus, then you say minus, because this one is acting to the left, two times 10 to the minus nine. And if you go work that out, you still end up with 6.75. Why? Because this number is so small that it pretty much has no effect. And so we get 6.79 newtons to the right. So this charge C is so small that it actually, it didn't really have an effect on A at all. And that's it for this lesson. Thank you guys for watching.